Blessings of life, family. Hope you guys are doing all right. It's a beautiful day. I can't complain. This is therapy. I love absorbing that sunlight. I love just being out in this beautiful slice of heaven, honestly. This is the closest. Look, let me show you guys. This is the closest thing to heaven. This is the closest thing to heaven I'll get. Literally on this earth. This, when I'm around beautiful scenery, just the vegetation just gives me life. If I see that that calming effect of the water, you know, there's certain people in this world that I hold close to like a vest because I love them like a brother or I love them like a sister because their true essence is what vibrates more positive light into this world, more energy that's positive that's surrounding this world to the universe. A lot of people in this world are damaged. A lot of people in this world only care about themselves. A lot of people in this world only care about money, only care about sex, only care about materialistic things. I was just at the I was just at this job. I, I left to a temp agency. He um, is a game banger from Chicago and very hard headed, doesn't listen, very argumentative. And I like to I like to put things out and I like to question people, not necessarily question, but um, I do a lot more listening than, you know, speaking. You know, what I mean, and one thing that I noticed about this guy and it really it really obsessed me and I want to talk about this in this video is it's truly it's truly disgusting how this generation this guy was 38 by the way 38 years old it's a grown man but it's truly disgusting how this gentleman of like many other people that I speak to in this world are quick to pick up a gun and the reason why I said it you know because living in New York City and of course living in Knoxville Tennessee it truly upsets me that if a man has a problem with another man or even a woman, they will pick up a gun. You know, at least if you can fight with that person 10 years from now, you can go back to that person and you can apologize to that person because you have grown as a man. You have grown as a woman. But everybody wants to pick up a gun. And it really breaks my heart that a lot of these kids that's even as young as 10 years old will quick to pick up a gun and shoot somebody. And that's not talked about enough, not in schools, not on the news. And if it, and then if it is talked about, it's swept under the rug like it's not a big deal. You know, everybody wants to be gangster. Everybody want to be a thug. Everybody want to gangbang. You know, that's that's, that's such a far cave for the, the true insecurities of what most of these young men and even men that's even in their 40s and 50s that, that like to hide. It's truly disgusting that a lot of people are ashamed to address the issues. And so they put the issues on other individuals. And I actually went through that, you know, at work recently and I had to leave that job. It was for $20 an hour, which isn't a lot of money, especially during this day and age. And, you know, money is fake anyways. We got currency, but we're not going to go there. But it's just, it's just crazy to me that somebody was willing to pull a gun on me. And I mean, it's not the first time that, you know, somebody wanted to shoot at me, you know, because they can't put these up. And I'm not, I'm not trying to fight anybody. I'm just walking away from the situation. But I think it's really crazy that this world is just literally just come down to more violence but you got to remember this is satan's world satan is the god of this world of this world he was you know he was he was a beautiful angel at one time of music especially that's why the music industry is satanic which i was telling you about you guys about but i talk about that in another industry i mean another video but he's the god of this world this is his world this money this evil this indoctrination camp all this stuff indoctrination camp is school by the way they preparing you for these slave jobs these peanut jobs that's of this world. This is of this world. We are living in Satan's world. And a lot of people just don't fathom that. They can't think that for some reason. Or they don't want to think. This is what I call NPCs. An NPC is a non-playable character. That is what an NPC is. A blue pillar. A blue pill person is a person. And I'm not talking about Simpson beta males. But it's also that as well. As a person that likes to be confused. Or live in la-la land. Like everything is a bunch of rainbows. And jolly this and jolly that. And that's not reality. You know how many times I cried. This year, last year, but especially this year, I cried so much, my face doesn't even have any more tears to leave, bro. I cried so much this year. So many tears came down my face. From that vision I had in June, which I, I, haven't, re, I haven't posted that just yet. From people that I miss, you know, that were killed or even died of natural causes. Friends that were snakes towards me and I had to cut them off. Sometimes thinking about some childhood trauma that I'm still going through, like I'm still healing myself and talking to God with. There's a lot of things, that, you know, a lot of my pain, a lot of my pain to be real. You know, people ask how I make such good music. I haven't released a lot of my music or even 
great videos is because a lot of my pain is, is my experiences that I've been through. Hell, even being homeless or not even sometimes having enough to eat, even as a kid. We always had food as a kid, but sometimes wasn't enough to eat. You know, um, I'm 30 years old. I can honestly say that I had a good life, you know, up to this point. But there was a lot of a good majority of the time my life was hell. I'm not comparing my life to anybody's life. It's not a comparison. Like my life was better than yours. Her life was better. No, it's not about comparison because I hate when people always gonna be like, "Well, you should be fortunate." Cause I heard about this other guy who lived in the projects, and and I'm looking at him like, you can't put his pain and define it in your definition because his pain is definitely different from your type of pain or what you're used to. I mean, you can never ever say what a person should do or what they shouldn't do because you don't understand to overstand what their pain is. Nobody's pain is ever the same. Everybody's pain is different. You know, there's a very, there's very, there's a lot of judgmental people in this world. And the problem is, it's not really necessary to people. It's the people that don't have enough compassion. It's not enough love. If we had more individuals that had enough love and more compassion, more respect, more integrity, they treated others like a man or they treated others like a woman that deserve to be treated like a man or woman, we wouldn't have so many issues in this world. Matter of fact, the world wouldn't really be a bad place because the only reason why it's messed up is because nobody cares. People only care about money. If it's not about the money, they don't care about it. And don't get me wrong, we all need money to survive. We got to have money to eat. We got to have money for shelter. Got to have money to, you know, to drive to different places if we can't walk to, to a certain area because it's too far. But when is it going to come to a time where we all come together as a nation, not just, you know, the United States, but just the world and, and show that world what it means to be, you know, compassionate, be truthful, be peaceful, be real, especially real. A lot of people see that's the thing. Fake is the new real. The faker you are in this fake world, the more love that you're going to get. The real you are in this world, the more hatred you will you will receive. That is facts. I've been real since I was I came out the womb. And all I have is to get hatred because I stood out, because I look different, I talk different. I'm not of the certain look. Because I'm not covered in tattoos. I don't have any tattoos. I refuse to I refuse to mark my I refuse to mark my body. I've been saying this since the age of 18 years old. I came into the world naked and I'm going to die naked. My body is my temple. I'm never going to I'm never going to mark my temple ever. There's no amount of money in this world. No person in this world is going to convince me to mark my temple. And when I was ignorant, when I was still building my foundation at 16, I used to wanted to mark my temple. And I realized once I start to grow more as a man at 16, it's not worth marking your temple. I elevated on so many different levels and so many different frequencies since the age of 16. You'd be so proud of my growth. You'd be so proud of the wisdom that I acquired from people my age and older. I've been saying this for the longest time and my mom used to say, <laughs> I remember she used to look at me like, not like I was crazy, but she, I remember there were certain looks that she gave me I can't explain. Cause I used to always tell my mom and just anybody that's close to me that my time on earth is real limited. You know, I'm not saying I'm going to die today or I'm going to die tomorrow, but, you know, with all this craziness going on in this world and, you know, I'm a light hill, I'm an earth angel, you know, it's only a matter of time until somebody tries to take me out. And trust me, I've been getting threats all the time anyways. Not recently, but, you know, there's some people out there that, um, that just hate good people. And I've seen it with my own eyes. You see people with such good intentions within their heart, their soul, their spirit. And you have people that just want to be about negativity. They want to be about drama. They want to be about disrespect. And you got to stay away from those type of people because they will drain your energy. They will hurt you in any way, shape, form, or fashion to make you bring themselves down to their level. And you do not want to get to that level because once you, once you get to their level, they got you. They trapped you. Now you're just on the same playing field as them. And now you got to do everything you can to, re to rebuild yourself and rebuild that bridge back to what you was even higher than what you actually potentially thought of for yourself. You know, this world, man, this world, I, I, I pray every day. I pray to God and talk to God every day that anyone in this world that's, that's pure intentions, they can come home to their family, you know, their wife, their kids, they, to their dog. I pray every day that they come home to their family because every, every, every single day, every single night you step outside that door, you at war with the world, literally. That's why I always tell everybody we're military minded. Always be military minded. Always be strategic. 
And I seen this, I seen this post on Instagram too. I want to put this up. They say if you throw this up, this isn't a peace sign. They say this is for war, and they say this is really peace. But I'm gonna disagree with that. I'm gonna forever throw this up, whether you, whether they like it or not, because if, whether it means peace or war, we always gonna be at war. As long as we on as long as we on this earth, this this form of hell, because earth is a form of hell. We're, we're in between heaven and hell. We're in between heaven and hell, literally. Heaven, hell. Literally, we're in between heaven and hell. And you see, I, I got a white case on my phone. White hat. I love white. White is my favorite color. It's a little warm out here, too, if you guys see me sweating. <laughs> white shoes. I could have wear white shorts today, but I didn't want to wear too much white. <laughs> white symbolizes purity. That's why I wear so much white. I love white. But this world, this world is going to burn in hell. I talked to God this morning when I was in the shower. I was like, God... I was like, I was afraid. I was, I was talking to God. Like I really was talking to him. I was like, somebody's gonna, somebody want me dead. There's, there's a lot of people. And I told my mom this, I haven't told this to anybody on YouTube, but I remember telling my mom this, you know, um, the, the day of my birthday. Cause I think she, I think she knew something was wrong. My mom knows me really well. It's like, she got like a sense. And I told her straight up. I was like, mom, there's some people in this world. There's some people in this world for real that would love to see me six feet under. There's some people in this world that would love to see me get shot. They would love to see me killed. There's a lot of jealousy in this world that I experience, a lot of hatred I experience. And I still keep going. I put a smile on my face because then can't nothing touch me, can't no evil prosper towards me because I got the Son, the Holy, the Holy Ghost, I got Father God, I got the blood, this all that on me, cover me. Nothing can touch me ever. There's no each there's no evil in this world that can touch me. And, it, and if somebody was to touch me, and I'm not talking about like what they fist, but I'm talking about on a spiritual level, trust me, you don't want to deal with God. God will definitely punish you. I don't even want to think about the wrath what God would do if somebody was to try to kill me and like lit and they succeeded. Because you gotta you gotta you gotta talk to God about that. That ain't me. You definitely gotta talk to God. But like just everyone in this world, I just I just I just ask for you to be safe, man. Just be very very diligent. And one thing that I wanna say that that guy who was a gangbanger who's 38 years old, which was crazy, who just wouldn't listen, who was hard headed, who wants to argue and fight about everything. And, uh, you know, about the gun and I'll, I'll, he's like, I'll pull a gun on somebody, you know, if they don't want to fight or if I did get my ass, well, I'll fight them and put a gun on them. It was like, this is ignorant shit. You know, just a typical moron from Chicago. And I'm not disrespecting anybody from Chicago. I got people from from Chicago, got family there, but it just shows that, you know, people like that just don't want to change. It was crazy because this fool was talking about he got like 17, 18 felonies in and out of prison. Baby mama drama been shot at. And I was like, you would have thought God gave you a second chance. But I can't feel bad for a person like that. I can only pray for a person and hope that they see the wisdom in true in true light. I have faith that they'll see it. It may not be it may not be now, it may not be today. But I I, I met people like that all through my life, and people like that will be in dead or in jail. I need to charge my phone if y'all see my finger. <laughs> they will be dead or in jail within ten years. That's not an opinion. That is a fact. If you have that if you have that ignorant mindset of you know thugging it out, being a th being a thug, being a gangster, you will be dead or in jail within ten years. That is a fact. But what I was going to say is you always got to learn. You're never too old to learn. I'm learning. I, I learn something new every single day, every single night. If I haven't learned anything, then I have failed myself as a person. I used to say that all the time at 18. You know, you learn until you die. You know, learning doesn't stop. Until I physically, until my soul physically leaves this body, then that's when I can truly be at peace. You know, I felt like I, I needed to get this out of my system because this has been so much chaos that I've just been dealing with for the past, seemed like this whole 2022, the whole, the whole year of 2022, honestly, has been hell for me off and on. I'm going to be honest. It's been hell. It's been a very difficult year for me. It's been very difficult. And I'm not talking about just financially. Just It's just been very difficult. A lot of my pain, I just try to just walk it off. I try to talk to God and, you know, I just just try to talk to people, man. Just give me that that energy boost again that I needed. Because when you're working around so many ignorant people, you know, at these jobs or NPCs, as I love to call them, they start to drain you. And I, I always say, like, I would honestly be perfectly good if I didn't have to go to work. If I, if I was able to find a way where I can make passive income and I'm still trying to figure that out, I got many ways I can do it. But the thing is, it's not enough to survive on. You can't survive on a couple hundred dollars a month. You can't. It's not enough money, man. Because at the end of the day, it's about survival. And I'm not going to be on no ignorant mess it's just to survive, man. You know, I always tell people, do what you have to do to survive, but just try your best to do the right thing. I understand. I'm not knocking anybody that, you know, they got to do a little something, something to survive. But let's try our best to make sure we do the right thing so we can prove the next generation 
But one thing I want to leave with you guys, one last thing is always show love and always walk away from ignorance because what I was going to get back with that last guy is, and it's, it's so crazy to me that people think just because you walk away from a situation or you move to a different location that makes you scared. And I want to point out, and this is why a lot of rappers get killed. And this is pe people like that that will get killed if they have that mindset. If you got to leave a specific area, whether it be a potential fire or a specific area to improve yourself as a man or a woman be because you want greater for yourself in your life, that doesn't make you scared. That doesn't make you a bitch. That doesn't make you a sissy. That doesn't make you a punk. That makes you, that makes you as shows that you're a mature, grown man or grown woman because you see the bigger picture outside of the smaller box these morons cannot see. Don't ever let nobody, no man or woman tell you that you're scared or you're a punk because you want better for yourself. You got a lot of people need to quit that ego pride crap. That ego pride crap will get you killed. God doesn't care about that ego pride crap. People need to quit that and, and grow up. That's why I, that's why I laugh when people said, you know, age is, you know, he's age comes with wisdom. No, not necessarily. Age is nothing but a number. Age, but not, and I, and when I say that, I'm saying this as well too. A lot of these pedophiles are nasty because he was <laughs> we was talking about that. And I was like, I was snitch on a pedophile. That was another thing I thought it was crazy. Good people talking about age is nothing but a number. I was like, no. That no snitching rule, fuck that no snitching rule. Excuse me for cussing, but F that. If I see somebody doing something illegal, I'm not going to directly just like tell them like, but over time, I will say something, man, because that's the problem with this society. Everybody want to be this no snitching. I'm th I'm gangster. I'm, I'm thugged out. If you see a, if you see a killer doing something, bro, I'm not saying you should kill that dude directly. I mean, snitch on him directly, but you should definitely say something because he's going to kill somebody else he's gonna kill one of your family members if you see a pedophile and i gave a real story about there was a there was a, there was a dude in the projects raping you know little girls and this is a true story people didn't snitch on him. they just let him because we like oh we didn't see anything no snitch on him tell on him that's the problem with this world this is why the world is so effed up you got to tell on people like that there is nothing wrong with being righteous there's nothing wrong with being real there's nothing wrong with being honest it's just sometimes i wake up in this world and i and i look at myself in the mirror and i'm just like I gotta go through hell again, and there'll be a lot of times I'll be I'll be I'll be wishing God. I was like, when is, when is it gonna be my time to go home? <laughs> you know, this is hell. But I'm not gonna drag this video out. I want to leave you guys with nothing but love, purity, and, and prosperity, so you guys can continue to be great men and great women. I love you guys. I hope you guys continue just to be just great. Just continue to shine like this light, like you see on my face right now. You know, always, always, and I mean always love yourself because you can't love anybody else if you can't love yourself. If you can try your best to, to heal yourself before you get into a relationship, that would be the best thing that you can do for yourself. And it will save yourself a lot of heartache. It will save you, uh, yourself a lot of, um, not um, not disrespect, but disrespect for the person that you're talking to because a lot of people that, that try to get into new relationships have trauma bonds. And what I mean by trauma bonds, they haven't healed what they went through through their last relationship. And that's why you see a lot of people doing a lot of cheating, a lot of people doing a lot of arguing without even necessary causing even a legitimate, like I, can, I guess you could say, um, not legitimate uh, purpose, but a legitimate reason to talk about something. A lot of people just are still children in the mind. But that's just the way this life is until people change, but that ain't gonna change, it's just human nature. Peace and light always, family. We're always gonna be at war at this world until we rest in peace. Peace and light.